Welcome back to John's Films. Today we're going to take a step away from Threadsmoker and my Windows machines, and we're going to take a look at the Mac that I have in the kitchen. Now, this Mac is pretty loaded. It's a 2017 Mac with 32 gigs of RAM on a Core i7 processor and a Radeon Pro 560X. Now, the X only has 4 gigabytes of video memory, and so we get to see how does that affect the output when working in DaVinci Resolve. After that, I have an RX 580 in an external graphics enclosure that we'll test to see if we can make more progress and better results using the external GPU in tandem and separately from the internal Radeon Pro card. Let's get to it. Firing up DaVinci Resolve Studio, it's beta 7. I have to say it's been running extremely well. It's uh, quite quick here on the Mac with just the Radeon Pro enabled. Check in my settings, you'll see in the preferences with memory and GPU, I've got it set to auto and use display GPU for compute. It's using the metal framework, that is the Mac OS Mojave UI rendering engine, and it's using it across both graphics cards. As I play, we can ensure that we're using both graphics cards by monitoring the GPU history here, which is accessible in the activity monitor by hitting command Four. It is not readily accessible via a menu. As you can see, even with OBS streaming, it runs quite well. Nailing the 2997 frames per second. This benchmark is much like my others. It has titles thrown in, 3D titles, lighting effects, blurs, uh, other GPU enabled effects. It has some noise reduction, it has some stabilization. And it takes, it's about 30 minutes worth of footage, so it can take quite a while to run. Now that we know what we're looking at, let's jump to the benchmarks. The results today are quite surprising. The Radeon Pro 560X, that is native to the machine, takes 19.9 minutes to execute the 4K 30 frames per second timeline. The RX 580 running alone in the eGPU enclosure takes 29.9 minutes despite being a faster graphics card. And finally, working in tandem, it takes 26.4 minutes for the RX 580 and the Radeon 560 to get the job done. So these are troubling results. I've added more hardware and getting less performance. There's a few theories out there on the internet. One, pretty verifiable. The eGPU requires processor to send through a firework. Firewire which is 40 megabits a second, to send everything that has to be computed, as well as the rendered or computed frames back to the computer. Doing that has some significant overhead with it. Given that the class of the 560 Pro in the computer already, and the RX 580 are close, the RX 580 being about 10% quicker in most benchmarks that I've seen, you wonder, the eGPU appears to have a greater penalty in use than the RX 580. Now I did try and try this with my 1070, my 2080 Ti. Unfortunately, in the latest build of Mojave 10.14 with OS X, they disabled the ability to use the previous CUDA drivers that I would have used with these cards. So I didn't get to test those in the enclosure. Let me know what your results are using an eGPU with Mac OS X. Has it improved your workflow? Has it made it more efficient? Yes, because Blackmagic Design themselves makes an eGPU enclosure. There's got to be something to it that I'm not doing right. Now I have tested against the different frameworks, Metal, OpenCL, even leaving it in auto mode to let DaVinci Resolve pick itself. One of the things I can bring out of that though is that Resolve is not optimized directly for Metal. It does have the rendering options in there, but it doesn't seem like even that makes that much of a difference relative to OpenCL. Thanks for watching. Again, let me know your results. Click subscribe. I've got more Mac and Windows content coming. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.